This is a short video on how to make a battery interrupter for use with adapted toys or other devices. First of all, you need some supplies. Uh, these are some options that could be used. Uh, some mounting tape uh, that has foam in it. has to be double-sided adhesive. Uh, this is some carpet sealing tape, which is also double-sided adhesive. This is some indoor-outdoor mounting tape, which is uh, also foam, but is very heavy-duty, but somewhat thick. And in order to make the contacts, you need some type of metal. This is a foil tape uh, made with aluminum. Here is some thin uh, copper that could be used for the contacts, and certainly you need a wire to make um, the, the interrupter connect to something else. Uh, there's a couple needed tools. One is a wire stripper. The other is a scissors. So it isn't much uh, that is really needed, but there are some options. What we're going to do today is use this thin mounting tape to make a battery interrupter. I've already cut things to size. Uh, here's the mounting tape. Okay. First step is to remove the protective layer on both sides to get at the adhesive. Next you take the wire that I've already uh, stripped and place it on the mounting tape on either side. And I'll stick to the adhesive. One conductor on one side, the other conductor on the other side. Like that. Okay. Now we're going to use the foil tape. The problem with foil tape is it does have an adhesive. The adhesive uh, keeps the contact, the metal of the foil, from reaching the metal of the wire. So you have to double it over so that you have a metal surface. And I'm going to use two of these because they're not quite long enough to wrap around the entire length when they're doubled over. So I'm going to put one of these on one side and one on the other side. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so we put one piece here. An important detail now is notice that I left a gap at the bottom and the reason why that is is because we don't want to have a short between one side of this battery interrupter and the other. And then you put the foil piece on the other side, again leaving that gap at the bottom so that the foil pieces are kept apart. Now what we'll need to do, because there's a lot of extra foil here, is to cut around the entire battery interrupter with a scissors. Especially at the top because that's where all that f extra foil was. Okay, cut all the way around. Okay, and the most important thing here is to make sure that the foil is not touching each other. You may even want to pull it back a little bit, try to push it down and out of the way all along the sides. And it looks, it looks pretty good. So that's how to make a simple battery interrupter. And next I'll show you how to test the battery interrupter. Okay, now I'm going to be testing the battery interrupter that I just made. To, use, to do that I'm going to use a small portable transistor radio. And uh, first step is to take the battery cover off. Next step is take one of the batteries out. And this can be tricky putting the battery interrupter in between the battery, so you just have to kind of uh, experiment a little bit. And uh, try to get, get the battery back in here, as well as the battery interrupter between the two batteries. And it just takes a, a little bit of doing sometimes.
trying to figure out the best way to do that. I think I finally got an idea here. We just okay. Now the battery interrupter is between those two batteries. So it keeps the contacts away from each other. Now we have to turn on the radio, turn up the volume, and now let's try it out. And we just have to touch the two wires together. And in this case, I have to find a station. You can see how the battery interrupter works. When I keep the contacts apart, the, the radio is off. When I put them back together, it, they're back on. Again, I have to find station. And that's essentially how it works.